Hi, Nick. Good morning. Hi, Tim. Nick, guys always, very, well, it's just very often talk about the game and the court and the gym being a sanctuary. Does that ring true more than ever now, or in these times, does a sanctuary even exist from tension, fear, anger that we all sort of are dealing with right now on some level? Yeah, good, good one, Tim. I think that it's probably somewhere in the middle. I mean, my sense from watching yesterday was it took uh, teams a while to get going. Um, you know, I think they were trying to get to that sanctuary maybe, and it wasn't quite uh, as uh, uh, available right as the ball went up. Um, so I think somewhere in the middle right now, Tim. Thank you. Hello? Hi, Michael. Go ahead. Yeah, sorry. I couldn't hear Robin there. Um, just to follow up on Tim's question, did you notice progress from Thursday, Friday, Saturday in terms of kind of the, the weight that your group seemed to be feeling or showing? Yeah, I mean, I think so, Michael, but I don't think it's like um, been eliminated at all in any sense. I think there was, it was heavy, heavy, you know, at the heaviest times and and it, it, it eased some, but it's been a it's been a process of it. You know, it's been a process of just kind of some time moving on and and uh, getting some things off our chest and you know some communication and uh, feelings uh, out, et cetera. And, and then trying to trying to you know use our allotted time that we are trying to focus on basketball wisely and and productively and and uh, we'll see, right? And that's what that's what we all wanted to see when the ball goes up there today where where we are as a follow up uh brad stevens was was you know complimentary about how how good you guys are at over helping defensively it's why you know you're so good with, with turnovers and things deflections is there uh, can you can can a team over help uh and if so what happens what does that look like um like over helping is a good thing but can it be too much of it <laughs> Over, over helping. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I'm sure. I mean, I think there's certainly a balance there between, you know, what you're what you're trying to take away, what you're willing to live with, and sometimes if you're going all out to take one thing away, you're getting punished with, with what is open. I mean, it's it's one of the things you would, you would, um, obviously say it's really hard to guard guard in this league. It's really hard to stop stop these guys and these teams and these schemes and. And stuff. So there's kind of a, a pecking order type times of what you're what you're trying to limit or what you're trying to take away. And then because of that, you've got to be willing to live with something sometimes. And then I think it's just um, how much of the stuff you're willing to live with, uh, what, what kind of strike rate that's coming at you. At, you know what I mean? I do. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Next we go to Doug Smith from the Toronto Star. Hey, Nick, how are you today? I'm good, Doug. How are you? I'm good, thank you. In your history, does what you want to live with or be willing to live with change game to game, or does it mean does it stay the same in a series? No, I think it changes. Maybe it changes, uh, Doug, quite often. You know, I think might might change either in the course of a game or even even a quarter. Sometimes I think you go into a a thing with a game plan and and you hope that your historical study and things, you've, you've made the right decisions, but you're not always right on that stuff. So you're changing course pretty quick. Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, usually you're, you're really, there's some, there's some foundational things you're first and foremost trying to do, but you know, it changes with who you're playing and the matchups and, and the schemes you're trying to, trying to work out there and, and uh, kind of make it crafted or adjusted as you go. Does having a relatively high basketball IQ roster help with that process for you? Well, it's 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 enabled us to do a lot of a lot of stuff, Doug. I think, you know, you you and I have talked about uh, a lot in the past of all the things I was kind of amazed that they were able to pull off from yeah. one time out to the next. You know, absolutely switching coverages of because the the other team would flip sides of the floor or whatever, whatever, and we'd be able to flip our coverage immediately and they'd, they'd, they'd execute it right out of the deal or, or whatever. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff. These guys are capable of handling. Thanks very much, Nick. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you, Doug.
question goes to Eric Kareen from The Athletic. Hey, Nick, good morning. Um, first of all, we know Kyle's available. Other than monitoring him, is he under any sort of limit or is he normal? I mean, I wouldn't think so, Eric. Again, we're going to have to see, you know, um, how it goes uh, once we get out there for real. But he, he, I would say at this point, there is no no limit. There, there may be a bit of something in the first half or something until he gets his condition. You know, he's, he's conditioning might be, I doubt it, though. But, you know, he's playoff game. He's been through a lot. He knows how to manage stuff pretty well. But we'll see. We'll see. Um as well, in th this series on both sides, it's full of sort of versatile defenders. Like your guards obviously have no problem guarding up in size. Uh, Marcus Smart can do the same, and, and some of the bigger guys can guard small. Do you see this as a series in which both teams try to get certain matchups, or does it feel to you like more of a we're going to see a lot of different things over the course of the game? I would imagine, Eric, you're going to see a lot of different things over the course of a game and the series. I think you're going to see a lot of a lot of the guys guarding. I think there's going to be so much switching going on and changing matchups and 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 uh, tinkering around with where each team's trying to go versus certain matchups that you're going to see a lot of a lot of scenarios involving a lot of players on both teams. Thank you, Nick. Yep. Thank you, Eric. Next question goes to Mike Ganter from the Toronto Sun. Morning, Nick. How are you? Good, Mike. How are you? Good, thank you. Um, you you've always got us, or you normally have a sense of what you're going to get on a given day from these guys. But given the circumstances and what's going on outside of basketball, can you even have a sense, or is this completely? Are you just kind of waiting like the rest of us? <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of waiting, Mike, but I, I think I do that more often than maybe you've given me credit for there at the, be at the beginning of the question. Um, you know, we, we, we do come out a lot of times guarding and playing hard, and those questions are answered fairly early. And if we don't, we usually can find it at some point during there. You're, you're right. But um, I don't know if I ever – super relaxed going into the going into the opening tip off about how we're going to perform and today's certainly going to be an interesting one yeah it just seems the level of uncertainty today in particular yeah. no i know i know what you're saying exactly i think i think i think everybody's trying to trying to see what happens when it goes up and see what kind of kind of mental uh, capacity everybody has yeah i appreciate it thanks nick yeah, thank you mike I guess I'm up. I didn't get announced. Oh, he's um, having troubles with his mic, Tim. So oh, okay. Tim. No, all, all good. I, I was just waiting to see if he was going to say it. Uh, every, everybody's, uh, everybody, Nick, has been kind of waiting for this series for several months now. I think it's safe to say. Um, as you head into it, what are a couple of things that you're looking at to kind of determine how you think it's going to go in terms of stuff you're focused on that you need to do well to win? Well, uh, Tim, I think that uh, kind of a – uh very two 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 good teams two teams playing well two very similar teams uh i think both teams kind of kind of can get set up and guard you go on go on runs defensively um i think there's some versatility in the scoring around around the the rosters um i mean listen it's gonna it's gonna be a, it should be a great series because the teams are evenly matched so what 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 wins those series? I mean, well, we got it. We got to guard and make things more difficult than they're used to them being. We got to keep them off the glass. You know, we've got to we've got to finish at the rim better than we than we have. We got to knock down open shots. But then, then Tim, you know, these these games a lot of time comes to, come down to that last four or five six minutes, right? Who who makes the who makes the uh, tough, smart, winning basketball plays? usually determines a series like this. Thanks, sir. You're welcome. And final questions going to Aaron Rose from SI.com. Hey, Nick. I think you said yesterday that uh, it sort of feels like another restart almost. Um, I'm wondering if, if you still kind of got that sense today and um, if you can expand on what you meant and how that looks. Yeah, it just, it just feels, uh, Aaron, I know it, I think it's been a week exactly since we've played. But it just, it just kind of, I think, with the circumstances, you know, um, I think there was a moment of, are we going to play or not? 
going on, you know, so like, like the, the, it was, you know, kind of time to shut the engine off and take the keys out, you know, and, and kind of decide what's, what's happening. And then there was a long moment of, okay, we are going to play then, then when. Um, so I think it's just, you know, it's not awfully long a week, right? I mean, that could happen in a playoffs anyway, but I think just the circumstances of, of what happened made that week feel like about three.